Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Old World Blues A to Z series, in which we're playing as everyone's favorite grass, big grass, but red versus blue. After all this time, the capitalizer had returned years, decades even from the original battle. There they stood, stirring one another down in the lowest echelons of the Scarlet Casket. Red light fell upon both of them like a desolate sunset made for two, the very ground. Beneath them, coated in suit from the last battle, both knew the stakes yet still even. Rolcom felt kinship with his fellow machine as she was doing a job she was made for. He offered something he did not know he had in him. Companionship. Anger can bring the stranger's feelings to surface. Uh, oil stands like blood. Rolcom proposes best, but the capitalizer simply cannot understand his logic. She never did. They fought there in that crimson trench as they had decades before, except this time Relcom was it entertaining the idea of losing again. Outwitted by the many legged brain, and a number by his forces, the capitalizer fell for the first and last time within the scarlet casket. And so, just as it had in the war, communism and the Union mind triumphed once more. Were it so easy? The small claims on all of Alberta, the effect will change once 5.0 adds the rest of the communist nations. Oh. Any more communist nations? Oh, we get claims on them. Nice. Uh, nothing over here, it looks like, which is fine. I didn't know we'd actually get that. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, uh, who are we war with? These guys over here, the Batford Brigade. So, right now, um, we've got some comments to go through. We lost one person. They did, were attacking us earlier, but... Look at a lot of political power we have now. Awesome. Military society. If they're not going to attack us, that's okay. Um, so... Um, do, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that. See what you can do. Also, one of the comments was, uh, I would not fight, I would join, said someone else. So, um, and we're in. Nice. But we're doing red alert protocols. All bets are off. We must ramp up our verbal brains, machine learning skills, or tap into what little useful combat knowledge they can nullify. We can't take any chances. Emergency construction measures. Our exterior has long been neglected from our time recovering. Their time to revamp our inroads is now, lest the enemy reach us first. Hey, look at that. It's only one division, but it's still an encirclement. Nice. Um, Hulking Shield. Well, we have ruler support barely going up. Honestly, they could, could just. Maybe do this. Eh, we're not doing great over there, but whatever. You know, it is what it is. There you go. Might do okay now. Uh, instead of actually getting some of this stuff, uh, you know what? Get out sort of battalions. More compliance. We get core more stuff, of course, so. That might be better overall. Uh, that's not worth my. That has more factories down here. Not a lot of population around here. Nice. Go over here and then we can go down there. North Ribbon would be pretty good to get. Very good. Yeah, it looks like we're still doing okay for now. Um, unleashing nullified instincts. We never robot brain still have some semblance of human instinct inside, though they can't apply it as well as a robotic chassis. No doubt they'll learn faster than they would otherwise. Taking advantage of this will be key. Nice. Let's see all the jackets next. It's not a bad idea. So we got plenty of army XP. Batbird, while it is a capital, killing off all these other divisions will be good too. Also, we do have these. Uh, Dedicated divisions, but we, we now have super heavy robots which add a crap ton of HP and armor and stuff like that We can't make that many at a time and I did throw on some CNC robots for all these guys So our organization is actually pretty decent. It's almost 80 now. So that's pretty good overall armor is almost 46 So overall, I think it's pretty good uh, Thing we have here autonomy is not bad more organization would be even better too But we're using only robots so CNC robots lose 10 more organization 30 organization Jesus Christ is that even worth doing? 
They lose more defense. Oh, does ro do the robots just get some? Plus 5, minus 30. You know what? I usually go direct control. Let's, let's go this route. Specials as well. Um, since we're doing that, we cut them up. Get as much of Alberta as possible. Uh, burgeoning paranoia. The enemy must not be allowed to reach our inner sanctum. I'll be personally overseeing the advancement of my Robo Marine Armada. The Union Mind shall prevail this day. Alright, not bad, not bad. Force it. Spread over there if you can. Nice. Good. Get over the water. And good. That's going to help us out. An incredible amount. Really wouldn't be bad. More entrenchment is pretty ne decent. Recon. Anything else down here? Um, that's supply consumption. I guess we use that one, maybe. It doesn't really help that much. If we can't win there, that's okay. Another brain, eh? There we go, and we finally got him. Should be able to do pretty darn well, pretty darn quickly with these guys, so. Not super concerned. At least you nullified instincts. Nice. War communism is the best kind. The vicious proletarians, these other believers, they do not see eye to eye with my analyses, my vision. I will show them in my, any, the way they know best, with amicable yet brute force. Kind of like me. You lose soft attack, but you get more division attack. More daily compliance is very nice, too. Calgary. Nice. Ready. Oh, they attack us too, huh? Well, it's nasty nice to think that they can do that, but not quite. We need way more resources too. Well, moderated perestroika. Discourage traitors. Communist autarky. Huh. Interesting. It's definitely different than normal. Can you guys actually not win there? It appears to stall, huh? 
This is very strange. How are we losing? Five, ten thousand. Very odd. Very weird. But oh well. Overclock in the casket. Egad, the casket alone cannot provide as is. Even the slightest bit of extra production will give us an advantage. The strings must be pulled, but it shall be done. The growing fear. I rather believe they are formidable. Though I fear it, perhaps I must, yes I must, work even harder, now I know not. But perhaps simply hitting faster shall work. Nice. There's some soft attack, but whatever, and the greatest stance. Is one achieved with grace. And now it's time to beat up some mosquitoes, because why not? Now this is going to be as difficult as the last group, hopefully not. And then we'll keep trying to beat other people up. I'm not sure why the last time was so difficult, but you know, whatever. We do have some air superiority as well, so... Nice. Very good, very good. She used to declare war in Eureka. Very nice. We've been calling a lot more states too. Guess I missed a few states too, huh? Overall, not bad. Political guide is gone. We're building up more civvies. Even though we could probably trade away for some more resources because we could really use some. But then again, they don't want to share with us. So that just means we got to kill them. Right? That's how it works here. Thank you, Mosquito. Cool. Of course, we could make our own stuff, but whatever. Alright, let's see what happens. We'll do that too. Okay, or just take the capital. Is that possible? Yes, no, maybe so. Kind of nice. Losses. We are still out of the quadrupods, but that's alright. Looks like we did take the capital, though. Very, very nice.
And there we had everybody. I guess this is Alberta, um, Canada. I don't know. I'm not Canadian, but you know, I guess it is what it is. But that's what we got for this campaign. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.